Hey class, this is tutorial two, item one that you're going to be making. This is the item right here. Um, I'm just going to walk through kind of how we made it. This is our timeline down here. Let me drag it all the way back to right here. We can't go before the first component won't allow us to. First thing I did was I created a component called box. I then created a sketch within that box component. I extruded that sketch out. I then created a new component called top of box within the box component. I created a sketch on the top and patterned it and I used an offset tool and placed uh, the pattern in the center. I then created, uh, oh, extruded it up to a certain length. Next thing I did, I created another component, subcomponent of this box called front of box. I made a sketch of an arc, extruded it out, made another sketch of an arc, extruded it out. Uh, then made a circular pattern uh, component, made a sketch and extruded it up. And then I used the fillet tool to round off this edge and then the inside parts of these little pillars, like so. And I will show you how to do all that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause right now. You guys can go ahead and create your folder called uh, Fusion Tutorial Activity 2. All right, um, I've gone ahead and made the folder right here, Fusion Tutorial Activity 2. Within that, I have my two items I've already made, but we are starting out in, in an untitled design environment here. Uh, you can hit the little plus sign. File, save. And we will call this tutorial two, item one. I hit, hit save. Okay, next thing we are gonna do here is we are gonna create a component called box. Hit okay, there's the component. We're gonna create a sketch in that component on, and please make it on the same plane as me so there's no confusion on this one right here. Rectangle tool, anchor it to the center right there. Click and drag out, three, tab, three, enter. If you already placed it and you weren't able to get the three time, uh, by three, you can always come up here to the sketch dimension tool and click and drag on a side and place the dimension and then set it to three and then the other side too. Uh, as you're working, if you drag, click on something and you wanna let go of it, you just hit the escape uh, key Anytime you're working, just to be sure before you start something, just hit the escape key a couple times and just releases anything you're holding on to. Next thing we're going to do here is we're going to hit finish sketch and go to extrude or at any point you can just hit the letter E and we are going to extrude this shape to a distance of four. Hit OK. Paint it over. OK. Next thing we are going to do is we want to set this as the front. OK, so I'm going to click on the right like so. I am going to come up here to the right and I'm going to right click it, set current view as, it's off the screen, you can't see it, but you've done this, set current view as front. So now that is reset. I'm going to click on the corner like so, and I'm going to right click on the house and set current view as home, fit to view. At this point, and I don't know why this is here, I'm going to try to get rid of this in a second here. Um, if you turn the screen and then go back to the home and click the home, it should bring you right back to where you were at. Okay, I just hit the save button and it got rid of that weird thing that was over here. Um, okay, so now that we have a reset home to the correct orientation that we want, within the box component, we're gonna hit create new component and we're gonna call this top of box. Subcomponent within the box. Um, you can see here, we can look at the box, make it disappear. 
bring it back. You can come down here and go onto the top of box and it makes it so you can only see this component. Either way, we're gonna make a sketch and we're gonna do a sketch on the top face of this box right there. And we're gonna rotate it. So there, so just make sure that your sketch is on that face. There we go. We're gonna make a circle just anywhere in this area. Click, drag out and make it 0.5 diameter. We're gonna use this offset tool to click on that circle and make it a little bit bigger. And we wanna make it 0.1 offset. So now we have two of them and they are concentric circles sharing the same center. Okay, at this point, and sometimes it can get a little tricky, we're gonna use this rectangular pattern. So just be patient with it. We are going to click and drag around the items that we want to apply this pattern tool to. And we are going to select this direction. We want it to be three items right there. And we're going to do a distance of negative one. And I'm going to hit, oh, I'm not going to hit anything. I'm then going to come to this one right here. And we are going to go down with it. So that'll be negative. And we want three of them. So the quantity is set to three right here. And we want the distance to be negative one. I'm going to hit enter. And then what you can do is you can click right here on any of them, really. And you can just drag it around and kind of try to place it right in the middle. And this center, right, this dot should be right in that middle. But we are going to center it perfect here in just a moment. So I've already done the math. But what we're going to do is we are going to locate this circle in a certain place so that it is just centered perfectly on here. So in order to do that, we are going to use this dimension tool. And we'll just do it to this one over here. From the center here to the side of this item, we are going to make that one. Okay, so now it's centered horizontally. We are on the sketch tool. Let me let go of it. I can grab it again. From the center to the top, we are going to be 0.5. There we go. That is centered perfectly on the top face. I'm going to go ahead and hit finish sketch. Let me put this into isometric like so. And we are going to extrude one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rings. And we are going to extrude them up to a distance of, hmm, I don't think I put this down. Let's say point one. All right. The, uh, somebody was about to key into my room to clean it, so I wanted to stop them from coming in. So we extruded these up to a distance of 0.1. Um, here's that extrusion, and you can always like double click down here into it and to access whatever that feature is, and it's showing at 0.1, and they're going up. Kind of plays a trick on your eyes there, but okay. At this point, we go back to the box level, and everything's there. Okay, the next thing we want to do from this box layer is create a new sketch, or I'm sorry, create a new component called front, front of box. We are going to make that uh, component on the front here. We want to do a sketch on this face. There we go. We know we're on that face. If you turn it, you can see that that plane, work plane is right there. Square it up. All right, and drag it over. Okay, at this point, we are going to create an arc here. Okay, so we are going to come under create and go to arc. We want three point arc and we're going to click here and here. And then we're going to drag up and we're going to make this uh, go up like so. And I'm just going to place it. And I've already placed one. So I'm going to left click and there it is. Now we want to make it so that this has a radius 
uh, of two. So you can click into, hold on one second. Sorry for the pause there. We want this to have a, a, an arc, a radius from this center point of two. Okay. So uh, if we do that, it'll be perfectly on these corners. All right. So we're going to come up here to this dimension tool. We're going to dimension this arc and we want it to have a radius of two exactly. There we go. <clears throat> okay. So at this point, we will extrude this one. So I'm going to just hit the letter E and we want to select this face and we want to extrude that arc up to, I had to go check what I need to extrude this to. Uh, we need to extrude, hold on, I get out of this sketch, hit E to extrude and we want to select this face to extrude and we want to extrude it to one. There we go, so one inch. All right, um, go back to the box, and that's what it looks like. Um, okay, and the next thing we want to do, let's go back to the front of the box right here. We want to do another sketch on this face. We're going to click there. We're going to do another arc. Mm, sorry, there, where is it? There it is, three-point arc. Point here. We're going to do a point here. We're going to drag up and I'm just going to place it. I'm going to let go of that tool. I'm going to come up here to the dimensioning tool and I want to dimension this and we want to dimension this to 2.5. There, 2.5. There we go. Okay. All right. Turn it this way. We want to hit E to extrude. Click it and we want to extrude to a distance of one. Okay, uh, let's hear, let's go to the front right here. Um, we need to make another subcomponent from the box level right here. So we have a subcomponent top of box, front of box, and now we want one called new component and we're gonna call this circular pattern. We're just gonna have the circular pattern as its own component. Okay, so we are gonna do a sketch on this face right here. Okay, so we are on the, that face. Okay, we are going to make a circle here. And click it out. We're gonna make it 0.5 like so. And at this point, I want to hold on. All right, just had to go back and check a few things, make sure I tell you right. Okay, so we've created a circle. We have uh, did a 0.5 diameter. At this point, we want to take this circle and we want to anchor it to this edge, but this edge is in a different a uh, different sketch. So what we need to do is it's called project geometry. Uh, we need to take some geometry, which is that arc edge and place it onto our um, sketch. So projection, project. We are projecting this line right here. Okay. So at this point now, that line is on our work plane. You can see it. It's purple right there. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And then we are going to use some of these geometric constraints over here. We're going to go ahead to the tangent one. And I'm going to click here and then the circle. And it anchors the circle to it. Go ahead and escape. So now, no matter where we take this, it's anchored to this uh, arc. OK. At this point, we want to make sure that this circle is centered this way. So this dot needs to be on this line. Okay, so this is three across, right? If it's four across. So we are gonna go ahead and use this dimension tool from the center of this to this side, it needs to be two. There we go. All right. 
Okay, next thing that we want to do is I'm going to just go ahead and right click this too, just to so it's not in the way. Um, we want to do the circular pattern on this object. Uh, let's see here. Center point is going to be right here. You can see that it's making three of them. We're going to do five of them. We want it to be symmetrical. And at this point, we can now click and figure out where we would want this last one. So I'm just going to click over here. It looks like we placed the, not all the way down. So I'm going to say maybe right about. Uh-oh. Right about, uh-oh. Okay, hold on a second. So I messed it up a little bit. Um, symmetrical, I need to go ahead and dimension again from here to the side going up. That needs to be two. There we go. And now let me go back into this. Maybe that. And here is the rectangular or the circular pattern that we just created. I'll click on that, it opens it up over here and drag this in, maybe right there and hit enter. Um, that wasn't very specific uh, that I did in the video or in the other one. So, okay, next thing we are going to do is we are going to use the offset tool to this. We're going to offset this way and we are going to offset to... Let me look at my notes, 0.25. So it goes right through the center of those circles. Okay. So at this point, the reason I did this offset is simply so that we can now use this trim tool. We're going to come in here and we're going to trim off the tops of these. Like so. Okay. Okay, so let me put this in isometric here. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna extrude one, two, three, four, five of these, and we're gonna extrude it to the level of this, this work plane right here, so that when we come back and look at it, those are extruded to the same level right here. Okay. Um, let's see, E to extrude. We're gonna extrude one, two, three, four, five, and we want to extrude it to an object, and that object is this work plane. Boom. So at this point, you can kind of turn it and see that that's what it did. So hit OK, and now let's come back to the box level, and we can see what this object really looks like, like so. It's very similar to this one. I think I didn't have you extrude up as, as high, but that's perfectly fine. Um, if you have sketches on at this point, you can turn them off. It makes it look uh, cleaner and easier to see the object. Um, like this, turning those off. Okay, last thing that we wanna do is we wanna use this fillet tool right here. We are gonna fill this edge and we are gonna fillet it to 0.25. So what that is doing is it's making a radius uh, of 0.25 on this. And then we are going to use the fillet tool again, and we're going to fill up the inside, 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 just left clicking, and we are going to fill it that to 0.25 also. Object and isometric, come back to this one. This one's an isometric. It's got some sketches on. Uh, but it is the same object. There we go. So at this point, I want you to save your item. Uh, and you will take a screenshot with your data panel open with your initials here and of this object. Um, I'd like you to have your, this is called the browser. I'd like you to have your browser opened up so I can see uh, to this level right here. Just see that you have organized it properly. Okay. That's the first video.